name is Abdul Rahman. I'm a lecturer at a public university in Kenya. I deliver lectures in computing and informatics. In our last lesson, we discussed about uh, the assignment operator. Basically, we discussed that there are two types of an assignment operator. That is the basic uh, assignment operator, which actually compose of the primitive operator, and then we had the primitive casting, and then we had the reference operator. And then we discuss about the shorthand operator, which had actually around five shorthand operators. That was uh, actually the addition, subtraction, division, multiplication, and what you call up the modulus. Today, we are starting up onto another journey, and into that particular journey, we are talking about uh, arithmetic operator. And we're asking ourselves, what are arithmetic operator? And in that particular journey, we're going to look at the definition, the type of arithmetic operator, and what you call the implementation into what you call uh, uh, the Eclipse uh, editor. So let us uh, start onto that particular area and move on and see actually what happens. On that particular journey, we're asking ourselves, what is the definition of uh, arithmetic uh, operator? So basically, when you're talking about uh, the arithmetic operators, we are talking about this uh, actually uh, they are used to perform what you call mathematical calculation. So they are used to perform what you call mathematical calculations. So basically, uh, when we're talking about arithmetic operators, they are used to perform mathematical calculation just as in algebra. The way we do them in algebra, the same way, also here we're going to do up the same way. But uh, actually, they use what you call binary op uh, uh, operators, hence they require only two operands. So they have to have only two operands most of the time, and this operand must be what we call them uh, must be either an integer or what you call up a, 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 a fraction or a floating point. So it should be up a, a floating uh, a point or uh, a floating number or an integer. But however, they cannot be Boolean. They cannot be a Boolean. So here we cannot actually use uh, the arithmetic operators actually to do calculation with Boolean. However, we can use what you call a char. And why should you use a char? Because a character or a string, they are what you call a subset of an integer. So that one actually takes us onto what are the types of uh, arithmetic operators. Basically, there are actually uh, around five types of arithmetic operators. We have what you call, so here we are talking about the types. So these particular types, there are five of them. We have what you call the addition. And the addition, actually, they are, uh, they are having up the sign plus. And the addition, they actually, what do they do? Uh, basically, the addition, they add, actually, two operands. And oh, they can, what you call, do concatenate two strings. And for example, for those particular ones, basically what you say, it is A plus B. So using up the addition sign. So that is actually the first one. The second part of it here, we are talking about, it is what you call the subtraction operator. And they use the sign actually minus. And the subtraction operator, basically what they do, actually they subtract two operands. Or they find up uh, the difference between two operands. And for example, we can say A subtract B. So that will be our second part of it. The third part of it basically is what you call the multiple. And it takes up the sign of an asterisk and into the multiple, actually, they uh, make up the product of two operands. So they give up product 
of two operands and for example it is actually a asterisk b and that it is actually the third one and the fourth one basically we are saying is what you call up the division and it takes up actually the sign of a forward slash and what we're saying about the division actually it divides two operands using as the forward slash so basically you can say uh, a forward slash b and that will be actually the division out of it and the last or the fifth one uh, basically what we are saying it is what you call up the modulus and basically the modulus which is actually the fifth one what does it do it returns a reminder from a division of two operands so basically here you can say a modulus b so basically those are actually the concept or uh, on to the types of uh, uh, arithmetic operators which are actually five the addition subtraction multiplication division and the modulus operator so let's see these particular operators what actually they can do into our eclipse so basically here in our eclipse we are going to do a very simple operations onto that i'll actually declare actually uh, some integer variables so i'll have here int a and have I assigning up 20 and then i'll have b and assigning actually the value of 7 and then i'll have my results which i don't have assigned up anything onto that then basically what i'll have here i'll have a string which i'll call it uh, the first name and actually i assign it uh, my name and i assign it my name that is abdul rahman and uh, i'll have uh, another string which i'll call it the last name and i'll assign it my last name and then i'll have another string which i'll call it just name so now uh, from there now i can start uh, to do up a, a few things i can start now to add the two strings so i'll say name should be equal to my first name plus my last name so here basically what i've done it is actually i have added two strings onto that particular one and here i'm using up system dot out dot print ln basically what do i want to print i want to print up the name so i'm supposed to get up my full name onto that uh, also to make it uh, a bit uh, more readable i can add here basically what you call an empty string so it gives me uh, some room onto it so i'm adding up actually three items together so it'll give me a, a very good room and then basically what am i supposed to do and uh, i'm now uh, putting up my result basically my result i can say actually it is a plus b so my a plus b what have i done basically i've used what you call the addition uh, arithmetic so here i have used up the addition arithmetic so i can do now system dot out dot print ln so basically here with addition operator I'm, i've done that and basically what i can do here 
I can just say uh, uh, some few words here. Let's say A plus B equals 2. And then basically I put up uh, my result there. So I'll put up my result there. And uh, here you're using up uh, the addition. So this is my result. Basically, that's what I have done. So basically, I'll end up uh, at the end of the day just to copy up that because I'll be using up uh, again and again. I'll be using it up again and again. So the next thing I'm using up, it is my result. And this particular result, I can talk about it is A minus B, whereby I'm using up the subtraction. Arithmetics. And basically here, what I can do, I can just say, now this is actually the subtraction arithmetics. So where I'm putting up that. So the next part of it, I can say my result equals to A multiplied by B. And basically, what am I using here? I'm using up the multiplication arithmetics. <clears throat> and then I can output my result basically here for the multiplication that what will I have onto that. And then basically, what am I doing now? I'm actually putting up my results into what you call the division. So A divide by B and uh, I terminate and what am I doing here? Actually, I'm doing up the division arithmetics. And finally, uh, I can actually put that as the division. And finally, what am I supposed to do? I'm putting up my results into what you call a modulus. So here I'll have A, actually modulus B, and then I terminate. And basically, what am I doing? It is actually I'm finding up the modulus arithmetic. And that actually makes uh, actually the end of it. So here, basically, I'll have what you call the modulus arithmetics. So basically, this is how we have demonstrated. So let us run this particular program and see actually the result out of it. So when we run this particular program, Basically, it tells me the addition uh, of A and B was 27, subtraction 13, division actually, uh, uh, the multiplication was 140, division actually was 2, and modulus actually was 6. So basically, that's actually makes up the end of this particular session until on to our next session, whereby we are going to talk about the unary operator. However, don't forget to subscribe on to our next session. For now, I say bye.